Are you YouTube. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Watch You Craig from Watch You Craig Adventures here once again. You already know what it is. I'm coming at you with another WWE vlog, and today I'm coming at you because it is hell in a cell weekend. That's right. Coming to you live, watching WWE Hell in a Cell. Got your live results and reactions right here as they happen. Your boy watching Craig coming at you. You already know what it is. And I join you, as always, with these pay-per-views. Hell in a Cell is in progress. We kicking off the show with Lynch and Banks, the boss versus the man inside the demonic Hell in a Cell structure. Now, if you watch the pre-show, you would have seen uh, the kickoff show, kickoff match between Lacey Evans and Natalia, which Natalia made Lacey Evans submit. It was it was an okay match, you know, solid C plus. But right now, Banks and Lynch are going at it. They're absolutely beating the hell out of each other. This is a hell of a match. I'm personally hoping that Sasha wins the Raw Women's Championship so that she will be Raw Women's Champion when I meet her at ringside. If I don't know if that's going to happen, you know, because the WWE is high on the man, Becky Lynch, right now. So, but we'll see, though. We will see exactly what happens. Um, these women are absolutely tearing it down right now to open off the show. Lynch, Banks. Hell in a Cell, Raw Women's Championship, on the line, it's your boy Watch it Craig from Watch it Craig Adventures. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Uh, make sure you keep watching the videos, watch the ads. You know, do do what you gotta do. You already know what it is. Your boy Watch it Craig. Let's keep the channel growing. Let's make it happen. Uh, giveaway video is coming very, 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 very soon. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Let me know what you want to do. What you want me to do. What you want me to see me. What you want to see a video of me doing. And if it's good enough, I might do it. So boy watching Craig, you already know. Hell in a Cell is happening right now. Stay tuned. Keep watching the video for all the reactions and results to every match that's going down today at Hell in a Cell. It's your boy Y2 Craig, y'all. Hit that like and subscribe. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So after a heck, a heck, or should I say a hell of a hell in the cell match, the man overcomes the boss to retain her Raw Women's Championship. I mean, it was a heck. Wow, that... I don't even know what to say. It was it was a heck of a match. Solid A as good of a hell in a cell match as you could possibly get. It had good spots. It had they executed it well. There was no no botches really. They they did what they had to do and literally put themselves to hell. Becky literally put herself through hell with the balls to retain her Raw Women Championship. Good job, ladies. Excellent way to start off Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell rolls on. <laughs> so, so, after Asuka takes a page out of Tajiri's playbook, utilizing the green Miss spit against Nikki Cross, we crown new WWE Women Tag Team Champions at hell in a cell. The Kabuki Warriors are your new women's tag team champions. Wow, that was awesomely disgusting. Awesomely disgusting. But point blank, new women's tag team champions. Congrats to the Kabuki Warriors. It's been a long time coming. Congrats again on your new women's tag team champions. Ship. And also, uh... Reigns and Brian beat the former Bludgeon Brothers, Harper, Rowan, and in a random match set up on the Hell in a Cell kickoff show, 
Orton beat Ali in a okay match, I guess. Anyway, Hell in the Cell rolls on. Keep watching the video, like, subscribe. Watch to Craig Adventures. So, after Strowman and the War Raiders, well, actually, the Viking Raiders, they'll always be the War Raiders to me, beat the OC via disqualification, the six man tag, and Tamina, Tamina making her return and becoming the new 24 7 champion after pinning Carmella and Shorty Gable. The disrespect. The disrespect. Shorty Gable beating King Corbin in a match that took twice as long as it should have. Probably the most boring match of the night so far. Uh, we now move on to the SmackDown Women's Championship match where Charlotte looks to become a 10-time Women's Champion against Bailey. Um... Yeah, so far the pay-per-view not bad, not the greatest. Loving the fact that Pyro's back. They they I don't know why they took it away in the first place, you know. This is what happened when WWE stops being cheap. Love the fact that Pyro is back. Um yeah, so Bailey, Charlotte, smack that women's championship on the line. So after Charlotte Flair becomes a ten time Women's champion. Ten times. Ten time women champion. Congrats, Charlotte Flair, on becoming a ten time women champion. And R Truth becoming a 20, 20 time, 20, let me say it again, 20 time, the most reigns ever, most championship reigns ever, 20 time, 24 7 champion. We now move on to the main event. Hell in a Cell. Seth Rollins, The Fiend. And now they've literally transformed the Golden One Center into hell. Like, the whole arena is red, the cell is red. It's, the presentation is cool. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the presentation. Um, the match itself so far is decent um, but it just started so I'm going to give it a chance um, but the presentation so far is cool I'm loving it, the presentation so far is cool uh, let's see if Seth Rollins can overcome what will happen inside hell in a cell What the hell was that? Like, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I get it. I so. You're telling me that in previous Hell in the Cell matches, people falling off the cages, taking thumbtacks, barbed wire bats, steel chairs, etc., 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 and for the second year in a row, second year in a row, the main event Universal Championship Hell in the Cell match ends in a no contest a no contest it it it, it ends it, it I call bullshit I call you know WWE I think that main event I think you done pissed a lot of people off yep as as Grim would say people are pissed that what what was that there was no there wasn't even a winner like the bell just rang like I, I don't I don't understand 
So I guess Raw guess Rollins is still your universal champion, but there there really wasn't a winner. There was no winner. Actually, there were winners and losers. The winner was the WWE because we just sat here for three for over three hours watching that nonsense that they put on the TV. And we are the losers. The WWE made us won by making us sit here for those three hours watching that nonsense and we lost because we got we got shafted. We got shafted. I understand, I get it. You want to protect the fiend because that is your money maker, so you stop the match. You wanted to tell the story of Rollins having to go to this deep, dark, dirty, disgusting place to have to beat the fiend. But if you were going to make him do that and tell that story, why not have him win the match via pinfall or submission, whatever the case may be? That's bullshit. I mean, I get it. The The presentation, the presentation was excellent. It, it was like, that main event, that main event was like going to a upscale restaurant in New York and paying $100 for a meal and getting like, and getting like a kid's portion. Like, the, the the play to look good, the presentation is great, the presentation is A+, plus, but you are left feeling unfulfilled, hungry still, and you want more, and you paid all that money, but you still end up going to McDonald's anyway. That's what that pay-per-view was. It was trash. It was garbage. That main event, unfulfilled, it was... I didn't touch it. Shit. Main event, unfulfilled. Left me wanting more. The presentation was great. I love how they made the whole match like red and you're supposed to be in hell, etc., etc. The Fiend, blah, 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 blah. Like what they did after, they're trying to paint The Fiend as this unbeatable monster. But, yet still, it's just Bray Wyatt. It is literally just Bray Wyatt in a mask. He wrestles like Bray Wyatt. He smells like Bray Wyatt. Still looks like Bray Wyatt. It is Bray Wyatt in a mask. And that just exposed it because Bray Wyatt, a.k.a. The Fiend, got his ass kicked in that Hell in a Cell. And they had to stop it to protect him. And then, oh, he wanted to look like he's all big and bad after. And get up and, you know, with the mandible claw and Seth Rollins bleeding from his mouth, etc., etc. Blech. That pay-per-view, it started off fantastic, started off A+, and then it took a nosedive. Crash and burned, like dropping a bomb. It just, it's great, the idea was great, and then, boom, just flopped. Belly flop. Like, belly flopping off of a 20-foot uh, diving board into a pool... You know, the idea seems great, but when you hit it, at the bottom, it hurts. It stings. Pains. That's what that was. Anyway. Um, let me know what you think of, what you thought of Hell in a Cell. It went from an A to a solid C+. Plus. No, B-, minus because of that. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Marcel, what did, what did you think of Hell in a Cell? That, the main event. I barely watched it because I was asleep on the couch. But you saw the ending of the main event, though? Mm hmm. So, what do you think of it? How they had to stop the match to protect the fiend? I don't know. It was bad, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. It's like your Fortnite skills. Trash! On moms? Straight trash. On moms? On mom. Straight you? man. Straight trash. But anyway. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, follow me on social media. Instagram, watch your Craig Adventures. Twitter, watch your Craig Vlogs. Uh, email, watch your Craig Adventures, gmail.com. If you didn't get that, all the information is in the description below. And we will see you.
on the next Y2Craig adventure.